Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Portland, Oregon at a town hall meeting with uh, the uh, Siberian kitten as he tries to explain why uh, his wife's uh, charges should be dropped uh, in, with regards to the incident that occurred at his house earlier this year. You know, the one where the tow truck drivers came to repossess his car because of failure to pay, you know? And he calls an incident that, uh, well, led to the police and the SWAT teams being called and, uh, well, his wife and him being arrested for obstruction and many other charges. Unfortunately, his charges were dismissed, but not hers at the moment. I mean, she had the more serious ones, I believe. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy watching this uh, Siberian kitten make a total fool out of himself in a setting that doesn't exactly uh, cater to uh, criminal dockets. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, my neighbors! Hey. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Two. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lenin Krivalenkov. You're very close, very good. I have a comment to make on, uh, not on the subject matter of this meeting, but something that is quite disturbing that was happening in the community and in Clark County. Really? Earlier this year in January, I was a victim of a serious crime against my family committed by two individuals, residents of Clark County, and more specifically, and I'm gonna be very direct on this matter, criminals of the Clark County Sheriff's Office. Now I've been a pretty good activist uh, exercising my First Amendment right, investigating the Clark County Sheriff and other uh, policing agencies here locally and in the surrounding Portland metro area. I wouldn't call shouting like a bloody maniac, uh, well, investigating. Investigating is where you go out and gather evidence and uh, will show it to the proper authorities and have it examined by the uh, prosecutors and everything like that to see if there's a case, you know, that kind of thing. Not what you're doing, which is... And for that reason, me being very active in pursuing justice, fairness, accountability, the agency of Clark County Sheriff's Office issued a bolo on myself, calling me or indicating me as a threat. Well, no shit. On January 22nd and going into January 23rd, two uh, individuals, private citizens, arrived at my house in the unmarked tow truck attempting to repossess my vehicle, which I physically resisted, and due to the nature of the bolo, and a discussion with the 911 dispatcher and a false accusation of me allegedly threatening that individual with a gun with the threat to kill, a SWAT team was dispatched to my house. Yeah, somehow I doubt the story of that tow truck being unmarked. I mean, uh, generally you see two tow trucks that have uh, phone numbers and everything like that on them, so that way people can call them for help or repossessions in this matter. And it is quite clear in the video that uh, you were trying to block them from uh, getting to the vehicle. In fact, you blocked the truck itself towing your vehicle until the uh, SWAT team got there and handled your dumb ass. They had no warrant, no authority, and I explicitly forbid them to be on my property and directed them to leave. They all refused including the tow truck drivers. Subsequently, I was assaulted, my family was assaulted, my house was broken into, me, myself, my wife, my children were fired at with pepper balls. One of my sons is here also present as a victim of that crime. Now what is more disturbing is rather than the prosecutor charging the criminals known to them to be criminals 
and I'm referring to the tow truck drivers and the deputies of Clark County Sheriff's Office. They charged me with multiple crimes and charged my wife with multiple crimes. Now my case has been dismissed. My wife is still being maliciously prosecuted relentlessly. Now I don't know how it works in Ukraine or Russia as far as uh, purchasing vehicles and having to make payment plans and everything like that. But when you purchase a vehicle in the United States, you agree to make payments on it. And uh, if you don't, then they can come and repo your car. It happened to my mother whenever I was a kid, and it's happened to other people that I know. It's nothing uncommon, you moron. And they're not criminals. They're just doing their job that the insurance companies and the dealerships have them do as per the agreement that you signed. So quit acting like you're the one who's being persecuted when you're the one that actually committed all the crimes. I'm here to address this issue in the most serious way. This is not acceptable. This is a conspiracy. This is corruption. Okay, thank you for your public comment. Is my three minutes over, sir? That's conclude your time. We have other speakers. I'm expecting Thank that you. this is addressed you properly. Can step back, sir. I will. That concludes your time. And thank you for your time. And if Thank it's you. not addressed, I'm sure you understand. I'll be back. Next speaker. Jim Byrne. Oh my goodness, uh, dude, you are a freaking idiot. Do you really expect this council to do anything about uh, your crimes? Hell no. I mean, they don't know who the hell you are. In fact, they wouldn't give you the time of day pretty much at this meeting. I mean, they let you have your three minutes or so, but not. they certainly wouldn't give you the time of the day anyway. Now, here's a little secret that I'm going to give you. Uh, the people that you want to talk to are your own lawyers. That way, uh, they can get it squared away. However, if your wife is going pro se on this, well, she's just as much of an incompetent moron as you are. So, yeah, I can see why the two of you get along so well. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?